Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Udo Zendaidukai and in this video I explain everything about MSEX, the multi-stage envelope generators. It would be great if you would leave me a like and a subscription. Then let's get started. This episode is a continuation of the Envelope series with a focus on MSEC. If you haven't seen the three videos, Envelopes, ADSR and LFO, be sure to check them out. The MSEC, the Multistage Envelope Generator, or in German, the Mehrstufige Hüllkurvenmaschine, combines the classic envelopes like ADSR and all its variants, the repeating LFOs, in other words, loops, and goes far beyond that in that the classic ADSR parameter curves can be freely drawn or set, and in addition, still in any number and length and or duration. In other words, an MSEC is currently the most flexible and, this, and at the same time the easiest way to model or modulate the sound. As already explained in the first video envelope generators, there is the fundamental difference between modeling, in other words restricting a parameter in its maximum limits with an envelope, or expanding the sound with a modulation curve. Maybe you should think about differentiating between EG envelope generators and MG modulation generator and modulation curve, especially in the context of MSEG, so MSEX. On the size of the grid of the MSEC editors. The units of the numbering of the vertical lines in an MSEC editor correspond to the note speed set or bar length. For example, if a quarter note is specified as the unit, this corresponds to the value range 0 to 1. And everything that goes beyond this is of course a multiple of this. If for example one whole bar or a whole note is given as a value size, then the range 0 to 1 reflects exactly that. This is for example a way to speed up or slow down an MSEC by changing this value, for example a note, without having to use any of the available functions within the MSEC editor, such as doubling or halving. Above all, this would otherwise be quite difficult if these functions are not available at all. About the editing, a good MSEC editor has various tools and modes to simplify the creation of an envelope or modulation. This becomes important in that MSECs can become quite complex or long or both in some circumstances. Then it helps like drawing basic waveforms like sine, triangle, rectangle, sawtooth, defining linear and logarithmic waveforms or concave or convex curves, the use of Bessier curves, sometimes called S-curves, insert and move all following to the right evenly, stretching as already known in audio, such as shortening, so make it twice as fast, or lengthening, so make it half as fast, deforming like compressing and pulling like a rubber band in horizontal as well as a vertical direction. In other words, the whole length remains the same, only the content is lengthened by pulling, but compressed or squeezed in other places, or even vertically. Horizontal and vertical snap to guides or to a grid to stay in sync with the project tempo. About oscillators. Since the free definition of the curves creates many more possibilities, the range of applications expands not only to envelopes and uh, modulation curves, but also to oscillators. As a very impressive demonstration of an alpha version of Separlet 3 by Urs Heckmann of UHE at Superbooth 2023 shows that the MSEC editors are evolving into graphic editors like those found in professional graphic programs. The links to the videos are in the video description. What about wavetables? This is not only limited to drawing an oscillator, but the comfortable creation of whole wavetables. 
In other words, a compilation or set of oscillators or waveforms such as sine, sawtooth, triangle or much more complex shapes, which can be sele selected as the basis for sound generation with or without transitions of various types forward and backward. The shape sequencer on the Hive synthesizer. They are also very interesting, I call them variants, like the shape sequencer at the Hive synthesizer by Yehi, where simple waveforms and sequences can be combined with each other and linked in different layers. If you are interested in this, you can watch the corresponding videos from my workshop series Hive uh, 2.1. What about the triggers? How an MSEC is triggered, in other words, started is no different from the other curves. In the overview envelope generators, there are detailed explanations on how to start or restart an MSEC, for example. Is the MSEC executed polyphonically? In other words, each note gets its own MSEC. Or do all notes that sound together get a com common paraphonic MSEC? Or will the parameters, like for example, filter and volume, be split in polyphonic and paraphonic? And I guess this is just the beginning of further modulation possibilities or modulation events, which don't exist yet to my knowledge, but which I could well imagine coming. In other words, something like if the modulation at time x is higher than or lower than, then trigger another modulation in the context of MPE that opens up further worlds. As one of the first DAWs, Bittig introduced various own MSEC uh, modulators and also for their grid. Otherwise, there are also plugins like from Cable Guys, the Time Shaper plugin, or the already somewhat older LFO tool from Transfer or Xfair. Will the MSEC replace the ADSR? Certainly not for now. The ADSR envelopes stand out because of their simplicity, usability, and wide range of applications. But it would be possible that in future, even on hardware synthesizers, still the knobs for ADSR exist. These, however, in principle, only the first four or possibly with a DAHDSR, the first six curves of an MSEC, would be directly accessible. And then, of course, the theoretically infinite number of curves afterwards can be made accessible with a movable input cursor or a touchscreen, additional software or, uh, or other editing functions. By the way, the sustain level of the ADSR is simulated in an MSEC by a range that is looped. Will the LFO survive? Here I could rather imagine that they will be completely replaced by MSECs and a few presets quite quickly, but maybe they will just remain in the form of an LFO for a while because it often takes a long time for people to accept a change, but then there is only a small MSEC behind it again. The conclusion. In summary, we can say that MSECs unite historically envelope and modulation curves such as ADSRs and envelopes and extend them with other possibilities such as oscillators and wavetable. It could be that in the future everything is just MSEC, even if it looks like ADSR, LFO, oscillator or wavetable. Technically, it would probably be a relief to implement only one module instead of many different ones. Also in hardware, this could of course contribute to much cheaper production, despite the more complex circuitry because of the law of mass production. But no matter how super easy and uh, fast complex envelope modulation, oscillation curves and wavetable can be drawn in, it should never be underestimated what complexity can be achieved with a combination or modulation of simple curves. Therefore, it helps a lot to have a solid knowledge and an experience of the basic shapes in order to be able to use them in more complex curves. If you like to keep seeing videos like this, give me a like and subscribe to the channel. My name is Odo Sendai Thanks for watching and paying attention. And if you have any other questions or feedback, or you've noticed anything unusual, let me know in the comments. I hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy, save the future, take care. See you then. Ciao, ciao.